So, my name is Theo Bondolfi and I uh, am a, a long-term uh, social entrepreneur and activist for social good and one of the activities I made, it was just before September 11, it was in August uh, 2001, uh, I wrote, I, I read in a newspaper that uh, Mobutu, the dictator from Zaire, uh, had left a note of over one million dollar in the hospital of Switzerland because uh, Swiss government was afraid to bill the official president of a country. And he had not paid and they were afraid to send him a bill due to the, you know, like to be polite between countries, etc. And said, he stole the money to, of his people, he's not even paying in Switzerland, and he had a house next to Lausanne. So we went around his house and I was used to occupy house for social good, but this time it was not to live there, it was just to sensibilize. So uh, I put a tie, I never wear a tie, but only when I squat house. And we went into the house, I broke a, a little window, put the hand, I already had uh, the exact uh, size of the window so I could put back a new window directly and I entered and there was an alarm but the house was empty and there was an old guard uh, living in the house next to, of, of, uh, from Mabutu's house. He arrived like this, you know, he said, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> it was like this. And I say, uh, he said, uh, I will call the police and say, ah, yes, let's call the police. And I called the police by myself and I denounced myself because that's the best way. You say, you call and you say, I so I said, please come. And uh, when he saw me calling the police, he stopped the alarm and he went out and I locked him out. And I had my friends coming in and we said, uh, this is a, a, an operation called uh, museum dictatorship because the goal is to transform dictatorship into a museum because uh, dictatorship must not be alive anymore it must just be a history it must be the past and the problem was that the government of Switzerland had blocked Swiss um, in the Swiss banks had blocked money from the dictator Mobutu and he, he was a very dangerous guy he killed so many opposants and stuff like this and um, the money in the banks was still in the bank it was not given to the people and the reason why is because the government had not made correctly the demand to restitute the funds and it was totally absurd actually uh, Mobutu was already dead when I did this in 2001 if I remember well and so we just demanded to the government that when there is a, a, a dictator that they do it ap appropriately, that they give the money quickly back. And we went into the news, we were blocked into the house for 48 hours and there was the, the, the TV show, uh, the newspaper, everything was saying that the mobile house was occupied by social activists, etc. And since it was before uh, September 11, we had no big police uh, attack and we negotiated that we will stay until the end of the weekend and the museum could not be open because to open the museum uh, we had to have the access of the peep of the public but there was police all around the house so we were inside and the police was around the house and uh, we were not so many people but we were very committed and at the end we went out and the government promised to evaluate our proposal and 10 years after they passed a law saying that when there is a risk that a dictator has left money in a Swiss bank they will block it prevently and due to this uh, one year after started the the Arab Spring and they blocked all the money of all the dictators straight away so finally we win somehow but it took 10 years and for this I made 15 minutes prison. I was taken into prison for 15 minutes. It was not long, but it was an experiment to see that sometimes you fight and you have problems and some other times you fight and uh, you don't even have an impact, but sometimes it works. And this is what we did. And of course, making prison uh, uh, 15 minutes, it's nothing. But for Switzerland, for the culture, taking such a risk, it's extreme. Mm. So people working for social goods almost never go in, 
into such radical positions such as squatting a house and we did it and finally it was useful and it, there was no property damage nothing but but the message passed finally that's it <laughs>